I recently came across two well-known traders called Mamba FX and Lambo Raul, and after checking out their Instagram profiles, which were loaded with expensive jewelry, supercars, and luxury lifestyle pictures, I was kind of interested in how these guys made their money, and if I could try out the services they offered to maybe get a Lambo too. So these guys are Forex day traders, and you've probably seen a lot of these types of gurus on Instagram before, but these guys offer a paid subscription service where you get the chance to follow the trades that they make and potentially make some serious bags for yourself and maybe even escape the matrix. Literally escape the matrix. But before I jumped into this, I wanted to check out some reviews online to see what I was letting myself in for. And it was kind of mixed reviews because people were telling me to stay away and that they were scammers. But one guy was claiming he made over $250,000. So I immediately ignored the scammer comments and fell for the dollar signs. And on Sunday night, I signed up to these guys with Mamba's membership costing me around $60 and Lambo Rowell's costing me around $140. I figured that this was an amazing opportunity to bank some six figure profits. So on Monday morning, I actually missed the first trade that was sent out, but fortunately Lambo sent out another signal shortly after, stating that there was a second chance to enter this trade. So I entered, but unfortunately, it started us off for the week with around a $62 loss. Pretty much straight after the first signal, I received a second signal, this time from Mamba FX, which I noticed he sent after it had already hit Take Profit 1, which kinda made it look like a winner inside the app, but was kind of messing with the rules of the trades a little bit. But I entered anyway, but that resulted in a $48 loss. So Monday wasn't going so well, but after two straight losses, Mamba sent out another signal. This time it was sent again after it had hit take profit one. So I was kind of confused about the strategy here because in the app, they all said that they were winners, but in reality, they were already sent out after they'd hit take profit one. But I entered anyway, and this hit another stop loss, giving me an $88 loss. So after the first three trades lost, I was kind of hoping I didn't get another signal, but incredibly Mamba sent out yet another signal on Monday morning, which was his third of the day. Fortunately, I dodged a bullet with this signal because when I tried to enter it, it had already hit stop loss, so it wouldn't let me enter the trade. I then didn't receive any more signals on Monday morning and I decided it was a wise idea why I had some money left to go out and grab some supplies for the week. So it's Monday morning, fresh off the back of four losing trades. Thought I'd just come and get some, you know, some essentials for the week while I can still afford some. You know, let's just uh, see what we can see what we can secure before this gets any worse. Now I was actually expecting to come in here on Monday morning and buy absolutely everything because of obviously, you know, the Lambos that are shown on those Instagram pages. But it turns out that didn't actually happen. So I've had to come shopping like this so no one can actually see who I am. I've seen a lot of these guys eating this sort of steak. I think they eat, they eat fillet steak, but this stewed steak for 175 will do. I think we've got enough. Now we're talking Wagyu boys. I'm not sure whether to spend my entire net worth on this fillet steak and post it on Instagram or to buy some spam instead. Spam secured. Now we're in the trading game. It's only right that we get a picture with that goosey boy. Fresh one for the gram. Okay. Let's put that back. So then Monday didn't go exactly to plan. It's not too much of a problem because I sort of knew what I signed up for with any investing or trading service. There's always gonna be losses. So I suppose we just have to hope for a better day today. The first trade on Tuesday came from Lambro Raul. Now this trade did actually hit take profit one whilst I wasn't at the computer. So for the sake of this video, I need to add on $35 profit because that's what I would have got if I managed the trade appropriately. And I'm not trying to make anybody's business look bad. I'm trying to do this as an honest test but that trade then went on to hit stop loss once again. So I ended up with another loss of $173. Shortly after, I then received the first signal of the day from Mamba, which I entered with a stop too big. So I quickly moved it to the right level, but unfortunately, yes, you guessed it, it hit stop loss again, this time resulting in around an $85 loss. With Tuesday only getting worse, I decided to check out my wardrobe to see what items of clothing I could pick out that maybe I could resell and get some of this money back. Good morning everyone, Wednesday is here 
after a shocking start to the week, I'm expecting things to get a little bit better today, or at least I'm hoping so. We need to start making some profits before this gets any worse. Let's see how it goes. So Wednesday's trading started with Mamba sending a buy signal, which somehow ended up losing again, this time resulting in another $85 loss. Mamba then sent out a second trade of the morning, which I accidentally entered wrong again, but I quickly moved the stop loss to the right place. But that trade lost as well, making it five or six losing trades in a row for another $32 loss. I then decided it was the perfect time to sell my BMW M4 and instead I bought this little white van because at least then I would have had somewhere to stay if I had to sell my house if I keep losing money because I literally can't afford to keep doing this anymore and whilst I was doing that they did actually send out two more trades but I was busy selling the car so I missed them. At this point, I honestly cannot believe how bad this is going. I did think that sort of it wouldn't be as good as they made it out to be on Instagram, but I never expected it to be as bad as what it's turned out to be. I've now got today and tomorrow to turn this around as I'm only testing these signals for a week. So let's hope that today's trades are the ones which secure the bag. Thursday's trading began with a Mamba FX signal, which again he sent out after it had already hit take profit one, and I actually screenshotted this time to prove when I received the notifications. Unbelievably, this was actually my first big winner, and I bagged a $237 profit on this trade, and I was thinking, maybe this is changing. Maybe this is my time to escape the matrix. Literally escape the matrix. I then received a kind of half signal from Lambo Raul. He said he was buying, but he never posted a stop loss level. So I never entered that trade. So although Thursday was my first winning trade of the week, I was still massively down overall. And I decided that maybe I should try and sell my house. And that way I could use that money to try and win back the money that I'd lost on Friday. So I immediately made a for sale sign, stood outside the house, and fortunately the house sold straight away. I then packed everything else that I had left that I hadn't already sold, and off I went and moved out into the van. Things had gotten pretty rough for me during the course of this week, and after a pretty rough night's sleep on Thursday night in the back of the van, I was feeling primed and ready to secure the bag and make back these losses for the week. So I was ready to attack Friday with the first trade, hoping to be a winner. It came through and it resulted once again in a $99 loss. After the first loss of the day was secured, Mamba FX went absolutely crazy, sending out three signals in one hour and all three of them hit stop loss. I was absolutely broken at this point and this gave me another loss of around $208 to finish off the week. So as you can see from the totals on screen, it didn't end up being a very good week and after the $200 worth of subscription fees that we paid to sign up to these services, we ended up with over a thousand dollar loss. Now this wasn't a perfect test of these signal services because I did only test them for a week. So please don't send any hate these guys way. This is not a perfect accurate representation of the signal services they provide. And this was just a week that I had with them. They could have had better weeks next week or the week after, at which we could have even turned those losses into a profit. But during the week that I happened to take trades, things really didn't go well at all. With most of the trades hitting stop loss, even if they did hit one of the profit targets first, it ended up being a much bigger loss than the small profit that was made. For me, it just didn't work. And I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Have an amazing rest of your day. Take care.